Now, this tip is an interesting one that is particularly useful if you are working with a database or perhaps you're going to import data from Excel into another platform like CRM tools like Salesforce or what have you. And this is about identifying the maximum length of a value inside a column. I'm going to start out at the orders tab here, and this is from our Superstore data set, which you can get back at the first module if you don't have it already. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the first row, right click and choose insert to give me a new blank space to be working on. And the question I want to answer, you can see I've already bolded the product name column here. The first question I want to answer is what is the maximum length of the product names in your data set. So again, if I were importing this into, let's say a point of sale system or something for a website or whatever, this could be a really useful bit of information. And so what I'm gonna do is type in a formula here that's gonna essentially scan this column and tell me the maximum length of any value within it. So to start, I'll just type equals and then max for maximum, open parentheses, len for length of a value. And now I wanna give it a range I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the down arrow two to start here where my products are. I'm gonna hold control and shift and push the down arrow one more time. And then I'm going to hit close parentheses and close parentheses. And you can see I got an error. Now that was intentional. The idea here and the reason you got an error in the lesson about these types of formulas is that this data, this formula needs to run in a set based mode. This is actually how SQL or SQL works in databases where it runs what are called set based operations. Excel typically doesn't work that way. Typically in Excel, when you're running a formula, it's looking at individual cells. This time, what I'm asking you to do or what I'm asking Excel to do is to, to find the length of every single value in this range and then return to me the maximum value. Well, that sounds like it could be really complicated, but fortunately, the smart people over at Microsoft just made a really simple keyboard shortcut. From here, I can just hold Control and Shift and then hit Enter. And now you can see that I got some curly braces around it, and that is indicating that this formula is a set-based formula. It's not something that's running on a singular cell. It's running on a group of cells or a set. And the answer to the question, what is the longest name of a product in your database, if we want to think of our Excel sheet here as a database, is 127 characters. Now, this is useful, but what if we wanted to actually create a database table that was perfectly set up for all of our data here? Well, we need to know the length of every column. So let's do that now. Here, I'm just going to use my keyboard and do Control C and then click over here in A1, hold Shift, click over in P1, and then do Control V. So I just pasted that formula across all those blank cells there. And with that, you can see that the curly brace is still there. So it's really smart how it does it. Similarly, I'll paste it over here on these last ones. And you can see now that I have essentially every column and the length of the maximum value in that column. Now this format isn't super helpful. This, how it's laid out here isn't really gonna be good for me to go build a database off. So what I'm gonna do is click on A1, hold Shift, click all the way over at U2, and it'll give me all the data I want, but I wanna put it in a better format. Let's do Control C, create a new tab here. We'll call it Orders Table Definition. So then I'm gonna to go to just cell A1 here and click on the drop down for Paste and choose Paste Special. Here's where I can execute multiple different kinds of paste commands at the same time. So I'm gonna choose values because I'm not just pasting the formulas. I don't want the formulas in there. I want just the results of those formulas. And I'm going to transpose it. So that way it's kind of laid out vertically, columnar instead of horizontal or row based. I'll click OK, and essentially you have a fairly good definition of your database here, but I'm just gonna cut these guys and put them over and then move this whole thing back one and put it down so I can say column for the first row here and length. So that way you can see essentially I have something that would be very useful if I were importing my orders tab into another system like Salesforce or if I were trying to go create a database or something like that. And that's just a nice way that you can kind of create metadata about your data set in Excel. 
I hope that lesson was helpful to you. If you want to learn more and continue this journey, head over to freethedataacademy.com YT to see our entire catalog and sign up for a seven-day free trial so you can start learning today to elevate your career tomorrow.